Hello, beloved. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mystic Journey Divine, coming to you on this beautiful evening. It may be morning, afternoon, wherever you are. But here on the East Coast, it's evening. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's a bit cool outside, but it's not raining. And we've been getting a lot of rain. <laughs> So we're grateful to get a break from the rain. How you doing, beloved? It has, I had a busy, wonderful day. I joined the women's conference today where we paid homage and respect to the goddess in us, the queens in us, mothers in us, the leaders in us. Sorry. Trying to cleanse a bunch of ashes. So, I'm here now. I'm usually here in the day. But I'm glad to be here with you. If you could hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Join the family. We'd love to have you. We're growing every day. I have so much to look forward to. With this channel. So many things I want to do. But I'm... Um, I need to reach YouTube standards and YouTube gold to be able to continue to manifest with you. So, support your girl. Yes? Yes. I've already shuffled the decks and dealt some cards. I had a busy day, so I came prepared for these videos. <laughs> but this is the vibe. Spirit says it's time, beloved, to get out and apply yourself. Apply yourself. That can mean many things. Maybe you're looking to change jobs, change careers, professions. Maybe you're looking to start a channel, start a podcast, start that book. Start that yoga class, that Zumba, the spring is coming. People are getting outside, they're looking to exercise and get back into the swing of things. Maybe you want to start up that group, event, travel. Whatever it is you need to do that you've been pondering on over and over in your head. <laughs> Those great ideas that you have been manifested or put into action. Spirit said, it's time, beloved. Spring is here. Spring is sprung. The trees are growing. The flowers are blooming. Fruits and vegetables are becoming in season again. Everything is growing. Everything is fertile. Are you? Have you called in? Have you planted seeds? Are you expecting a harvest? Are you laying out your baskets so Spirit has something to fill? It's time, beloved, to take a leap, take a chance, take a risk on love, on finance, on living life to the fullest. It's time to go for it. Maybe you've been out of the dating game scene for some time now. You've done all the healing that you could possibly do <laughs> in silence. In hermit mode. Now it's time to get out and let your hair down, beloved. Feel the breeze. Put those toes in the grass, in the ocean. Hug a tree. Get back to nature, back to self. Pamper yourself. Go for a massage. Go for Reiki healing. Start that detox that you've been meaning to do, but too busy. Get those teas, order your supplies, whatever you need to do to come alive, to vibe, to blossom, to transform. It's time, beloved. It's time. Spring is a generous season. It's a gen it gives. It grows and nurtures. It replicates. 
is prosperous. Spirit says, step into your time of manifestation. The time is now. The earth is looking to be generous with you. Everything you need, everything you desire is now becoming available and open. No more restrictions. No more hiding. Fearful, doubting. Just be alive. Be light. Be positivity. Be that which you see. That which you want. You may have a son. Very specific to someone watching. You have a son. You can Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Your son. You may be in a season of lack right now. Needing, wanting, feeling guilty of not being able to provide more for your family. Your son wants you to know, queen, king, I got your back. Mom, dad, sister, daughter, son, I got your back. We're in this together. You may be a single parent with a son. You may be a single parent. You have one son and the rest are female. Whatever it is, this son is playing a very important role in the current moment that you're in. Spirit says, don't feel guilty. Your son is there for times that you need. Allow him to grow in his own independence by allowing him to be generous, to give from the heart, to lead, to become a king, the king you're raising, the king you want him to be. It's okay to take a back seat. It doesn't show you weak or vulnerable or needy. It shows that you're human, going through a human experience. And right now, support is what you need. Let support support you. Let it support you. Stop fighting. Receiving. You're in the season of receiving. Learn to receive. And not second guess why they're giving it to you. Everyone doesn't have a motive. Some people just love. And are generous authentically. Your son may be an empath. He may be part of the collective. He needs this experience to teach him who he is, how he gives, how he stands, how he shows up. Stability. Stability is being offered to you. Stability may be your focus. Stabilize your emotions first. And then watch your perspective on everything else fall in line with peace and harmony. Stop overthinking it, living in a lack mentality. Know that you know that you know that all lost will be replaced tenfold exactly when you need. You may want to consider Investing for your future. You may not have enough to invest. Well, how can I invest if I don't have? There are other ways you can invest your time and your energy. You can volunteer. You can show up in places with like-minded people that are interested in building and doing and achieving. You never know what you could stumble upon. An idea. An opportunity. Investing isn't always about money. Investing is often about you just showing up and being present and being intentional about being useful to spiritual assignments. Investing in love. Planting seeds. Planting seeds with people. 
show them with your true authentic your true authentic your oh that's the tongue twister showing them what your true authentic self brings to the table show them your value show them your foresight your vision your intuition your experiences have meaning they have a voice affirmation plant those seeds seeds can be an idea it can be an investment if you do have money to invest and then the market is very unstable but there's an opportunity to get it while it's cheap and grow it long term to maintain and stabilize you and sustain you for years to come they can be left to your children, to your son. Generational wealth that begins with just an idea that leads to growth. Growth of self, spiritual growth, mental clarity, getting grounded, getting focused, getting intentional, about where you're going, who you're going with, who you're taking, and who must stay behind because you're impeding my growth, your distraction. I need help mate, a partner, a king to my queen, an emperor to my empress energy. Not interested in pages or nights even at this time in my life. You're a king seeking emperor status. That's just, that's where I begin. Spirit saying, focus on reevaluating, reevaluating your list. Write down the names, write down the places, write down the experiences, <laughs> list the pros and cons. Cross them off. See what you got left. Who you have left. And why. Clean our house. Make room for new. I know you expect to see that, beloved. Because spirit has a marriage. A committed relationship. One that's loyal. High morals. High standards. Supports. Equal reciprocity, a divine union, a soulmate energy with that twin flame vibe waiting for you to rise up and take your rightful place on your throne. King or queen, divine security and self. Don't keep involving yourself. Inviting yourself, showing up for temporary things, people or places. You know that relationship you got in when you were on the rebound or that idea you invested in without getting the right information or that place you want to visit. But once you get there, you don't know what to do because you haven't mapped out the area or what there is to do. That time that you waste and spend in daydreaming and nostalgia with no action behind seeking out the new. And if your marriage ends up being something temporary, sometimes it's that too. Free will gives us the freedom to choose, and we don't always choose the best. It also depends on energy, the level of vibration that we are vibrating in and what we need. And misery loves company, and normally, not normally, but unfortunately, we often choose in that way. Choose someone that understands me, been through what I've been through, codependency. 
ends up being karmic lessons, a teaching experience. You may have had to let go and walk away from the marriage. And you may be reevaluating what you want, what you need. You may want to plant new seeds and new soil and invest in something new, someone other, something truly stable, something with equal reciprocity, generosity of emotions. They communicate well, they speak. With a pleasant tone, they respect you. They ask questions. They include you. That rather die energy. You gotta earn it. You gotta show the spirit that you're ready for it. I've done the healing work. I've done the shadow work. I've taken accountability and responsibility for my own choices. I don't put blame and shame and guilt on others for where I am. I don't live in lack mindset, always constantly thinking of grief and loss and abandonment and I'm going on and on. But show that you truly awaken the elevated to your highest and best self. And you surrender to that and more. Then will you meet your equal. Your equal mate, partner, confidant, friend, protector, provider, lover, spirit says, even though you may be going through something right now, in separation, heartbreak, disconnection, your ancestors want you to know. Your spirit guides. Those that look over you that you may not even know to acknowledge. Or no, did I just know? <laughs> may not even know to acknowledge or know how to. You don't have an altar. You don't give offering. You don't go by the water. You don't hug a tree. You don't have a daily routine. A prayer in the morning. Gratitude. A journal, meditate. You have a set, a setting that shows that you want to show up for spirit, for your ancestors, your spirit guides that provide. Surely you don't think that you're just walking this earth and that job you got on your own and you, it's all of your doing. Surely we understand that we are favored. By the Almighty Creator, God, Goddess, Mother, Father, and One. And that every blessing is a blessing on their way. And to reap, reap the rewards of more, we must put in to take out. The possibilities. That they are willing to gift you are limitless. Your ancestors say there are no limits in our world, and you are a descendant, a bloodline, blood of blood, bone of bone, of royal kings and queens. You have a spiritual inheritance, a birthright, a purpose. Limitless possibilities, no expectations, and no restrictions allowed. We go with the flow. We walk in faith. We understand the assignment, and it doesn't come with an outcome every time. We don't need to know. We wait on it in anticipation of his goodness. For we know that we planted the seeds in fertile soil, and we tend to our garden. And we grow. Thus, everything we touch grows. And everyone around us grows. There is a need. A need in you. 
something you desire, something you want, something you constantly think about, something that needs action and movement on your part. It's time to light that fire within. Now, fire, we could also be in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be your zodiac, or you could be in separation from a fire sign. And it may be attached to this need. Maybe you haven't understood yet, been able to let go and move on. Maybe you don't know how to. Or if you should. It's time to figure it out. No longer let it be a distraction, a stagnation, a deterrent from moving on in the progression. Do you see that? No credit needed. Your ancestors are about to make you a lender and not a borrower. You will have enough to give charity to others. You will have enough to start that business, to grow those seeds, to buy those seeds, to invest, to find your stability, to give back to your son. To reward yourself. Limitless possibilities. No credit needed. Do you believe in that? I do. Don't worry about bad credit, good credit, any credit. It means nothing. In the world I live in, it means nothing. God don't check my credit score. Before he rewards me for deeds done, good deeds. My God don't need a bank to hold all his riches and wealth. It can come from anywhere at any time. Anybody. If he commands it, it is done. So stop worrying about repairing your credit or how is it going to come or you are the how. You are the how. Your purpose is the assignment. You are the how. Go to the well and take a drink of the water that never runs dry. And place your heart on the altar and sacrifice. It is all I have to give and everything. I surrender my life to divine will and timing. And then move accordingly in faith. Yes, beloved. Yes. That was the channel message. Hopefully, it resonated with you. It gives you some peace and relief. And a place to start anew. But once again, if you haven't, please hit the like button. Help grow the channel. Help me grow. Help me bring you more. Yes, giving and receiving. If you want to check out my Oracle decks, I have some beautiful Oracle decks, tarot decks that I created with beautifully channeled messages of love, loss, life, renewal, finance, wealth. Dark magic, even. Warnings, evil eye. I have an array for you, affordable. As a single mom, I understand. Check them out. If you need a personal one-on-one, -on -one, hit me up, I'm available. We can channel and push through and get you over to the other side where you belong, collective. As within, so without. As above, so below. We are just here in the natural flow of life. To fulfill a purpose only God governs. You shouldn't go to anyone else for what you need and what you desire. He has all you need 
to live a beautiful life, an abundant life, a healthy life, a life free of depression, sickness, pain, rejection of enemy, confusion, stagnation, that little self. Yes, they talk so much when the big self is trying to be in charge. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for your support. The comments are beautiful and much appreciated from all. I try to answer. I do. I wish you all the love, peace, and happiness that your heart and hands can hold, beloved. And until we meet again on this channel, I'm sending you love. Ashe, beloved. Ashe.